Kelly Sutton from Gusto, do you have enough tests? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> How's it feel? Uh, I feel good right now. Okay. Yeah. I okay. Kent back from Gusto. <laughs> uh, I was working with a team in, in Switzerland and we were retrofitting tests to a uh, uh, substantial code base. Yeah. For the first six months, yeah. every time, every time we ran the tests and okay. they were green, okay. somebody would say, not enough tests. Okay. And uh, it took us that long to have any sort of sense of confidence that the tests Mm-hmm. As we said in the last episode, the, t- the tests were predictive yep. uh, of behavior. Yep. But the change of feeling when we got that confidence yeah. was really uh, dramatic. Yeah. Now, sometimes when, uh, when I'm writing, mm-hmm. I'll write something that's true, but I won't know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And this happened to me when I, uh, uh, I was listing the desirable properties of tests. Mm-hmm. And I wrote predictive and uh, specific and inspiring and uh, inspiring. What does that mean? What does that even mean? You can't put a number on that. Exactly. So, <laughs> so, but it is a property. Yeah, uh, yes, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. put a number on it. Yeah. Uh, but it is a property of good tests. Yeah, exactly. So, right now, mm-hmm. you said you had uh, code being deployed. Yeah. So, as we're recording this episode, there is a deploy going out with code that I wrote, um, but I'm here chatting with you, and uh, no one's screaming. No, not yet. I don't see any flames in the background. <laughs> uh, and I think that's because uh, our test suite here at Gusto is inspiring to some degree. It inspires confidence. If the tests are green, yeah. it's okay to go to production. Right. Yeah. And, and as you said, this is not a numerical thing. This yeah. is not some correlation p and blah 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 this yeah. is this is about a feeling yeah when you have tests that give you that sense of confidence like oh everything's okay yeah. and it's really true mm. then that frees up energy to apply to lots of other things yeah. that you might want to do yeah and so the, the the part of inspiring like this last desirable property of tests uh, for me, is not like what does it mean. It's what does it buy us. Right? Yeah, it buys us the free time to not worry about production for an hour or two, and sit down and record these videos. Yeah, right. Um, what else can it? Buy well, us? if you if you're looking at some code, yeah, and you say, I think this code's dead. I don't think it's executed. Yeah, no tests. Yeah. You know, like uh, maybe a comment that out or put it behind a feature flag yeah. or put a bug snag there or yeah. s- but if you're if you have inspiring tests yeah. they will just delete it yeah run yeah. the tests everything passes it's okay yeah and so so behavior that might be you know irresponsible uh, to some degree actually becomes just something that you can do it's a tool for you right. with an inspiring test suite. right and, and so we're, we want to free up individual mm. energy with yeah. tests yeah. to go try more ambitious things, mm. to be more creative, to mm. feel like you've got this safety net if yeah. you try something and it doesn't work out. It's okay. Yeah. There's no The downside's gone. The upside, though, we can take advantage of much mm-hmm. more. Mm-hmm. But then that same sense of inspiration mm-hmm. spreads to our teammates. Yep. Who can trust the changes we make in the same way that we trust the changes they make? It yeah. spreads to our customers, yeah. to our investors. Product is more reliable, more profitable, up more, hopefully. Right. Yeah. Huh. And, and and that's really what we're getting to. Nobody wants tests per se. Yeah. But they sure do want this feeling of because of the way that we're developing, we can bring our whole selves. Mm. to the work that we're doing mm. and that means that we're creating more value for everybody else yeah. and we're hoping by our example that other people will also be creating more value yeah. because they're inspired by the way that they develop mm. in addition to the things that they develop yeah i always like the phrase engineers should always be making themselves obsolete every day yes right like i should not be doing the same thing on friday that i was thursday should not be doing the same thing on Thursday that I was Wednesday. Right. And right. so we would like tests yeah. that enable that progression yeah. as opposed to oh, same thing yeah. over and over again. Yeah. And so that's why tests should be inspired. There you go. Yeah. 
And there you have it, 12 desirable properties to tests. And as I hinted in the last episode, we're going to have one bonus Baker's Dozen episode mm -hmm. where we talk about these trade-offs because that really is the point. Yeah. Sometimes you feel like you can get, you, you can have more of one property, but you're gonna have to give up another. And yeah. where do you set those dials? That's really the point of examining all of these. Yeah. All right, thank cool. you very much, Kelly. This was fun, Ken. All right, my pleasure. Yeah. See you soon.